with us. Now, by default, this particular form will not be visible. So we can give it a display to none. Okay, so it's not visible. Once a person will hit this particular edit button, then only it will be visible. So out here in edit.php, I'm gonna say once a person will click this button, which has an IP of edit newsletter, dollar edit form dot slide toggle with a speed of 700 milliseconds or yeah 700 milliseconds now it will not work for us if you guys will see see it's not working because we will have to include the jquery file or the url to the jquery so you guys can do one thing go to google right here google jquery link and just copy it down from their website okay, it's taking some time it's not responding at all whether you guys if you want you can also download a copy of jquery and keep it in all of your projects so that way you guys don't have to uh, link it to something else okay this page become uh, unresponsive i want to search it out from here i want to say google jquery link open it come down and from here I can copy it. Go back and paste it here on the top. Next thing we can try is see whether it's working or not. So I'm gonna click on it. Finally it came C. If it will click on it again it will go up. If it will click it on again it will come down. And guys, the reason we used this return false, okay, is if you will click on it, it will not show that particular hash sign on the top. So if I will take it off, let's try without return false. Refresh the page. See, the hash sign is out there. So we don't want that. We can keep return false out here. Now what we want is we want to fill all of them with the values okay let's go here and here we can provide them some values so I can say this one's value would be equal to dollar temp name come back refresh let's see whether we are getting something or not refresh it okay it says dark anytime they want they go oh, what's that it is edit newsletter dot click function. I believe we haven't closed that anchor link or something. This wrong. Edit newsletter. Edit form. There was something wrong, guys. Let's search how many edit newsletter IDs we have on this page. I have one. Only one. The link is closed. It says edit form. Come back here. So edit newsletter dot click function edit form dot slide toggle. That's fine, but I'm not sure why it's behaving damn strange. If I will click on it, it came. Okay, if I will click on it, that is something really, really strange. Just got clicked, then go ahead and show it. Come back to individual newsletter. Okay, we have edit newsletter out here. That's being ended there. Then we have these labels, so dev class. Everything's fine. I'm not sure why it's behaving damn strange. Let's say edit newsletter XXX. Okay, let's try that one. 
might be there is something going on like that. XXX, come back, refresh it. Now it's fine. I believe I have multiple IDs like edit newsletter somewhere. Uh, okay, guys, see. This one has an ID of edit newsletter and everything is inside this particular div. So even if, if I'm going to click out here, it's going to, you know, slide toggle it. That's the reason I provided it at this particular link a different div. I'm sorry, yeah, a different ID. Now it's working fine. Now we will have to fill this form with their actual values. So I'm going to say value will be equal to new subject will be dollar subject. This will have the value of the sender's name will be dollar sender name. This will have the value of sender email. Uh, and text area will have the value of a description dollar description okay that seems pretty fine go ahead and refresh the page select this edit button now we have everything pre-filled but it says some p tags out here i know why it's doing that so for that we will have to come back here include the file we included first time that was uh, which file guys that was oh my gosh i don't even remember okay come to newsletter.php that was ckeditor.js file yep so I'll paste it out here and we can grab bunch of javascript we wrote out there come back come back to edit.php not edit.php individual this one so after the text area we can actually place it like this okay and give this one uh, id of message or I'm gonna say replace message let's see if that works it says unexpected error on line number 64 this might be the reason I'm not sure yeah that was the reason come back come down okay finally we have a cool working CK editor once again guys okay so i believe that is done for the day if you want you can create the php script so submit everything make sure that none of these fields are empty everything is filled down in order to send any newsletter i will see you guys next time bye bye